Oh, didn't mean to scare you. Sorry. <sighs> okay, I'm not. I'm, I'm catching Alice today. I've arrived. What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in LA at Soul Stage with multi-platinum rapper, actor, and activist, Jaden Smith. How are you? I'm glad to be here. Gonna do some sneaker shopping today. Gonna see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then hopefully he's gonna buy some sneakers. It's lit. Let's do it. Jaden, one thing that I really like about you, your style heroes are like left of center, Poseidon, mm -hmm. Picasso, Steven Spielberg. Mm -hmm. You know, you named Tyler the Creator, but like as a young kid and seeing those people and those characters as style heroes, mm -hmm. did that contribute to like your freedom of expression style that you're known for? Um, yeah, I think it could. I think it could. You know, we're also missing Batman in there. Batman, right. Um, I think differently, so that's why I dress differently, I think. You Absolutely. Know? Another thing, like it expanded to your footwear, you had these customs that mixed and matched silhouettes and you wore them for so long. Oh yeah. And they made like big news on the internet. And yeah. it was like, I remember even Thug did put like on his IG story, oh, just yeah. the shoe and everyone knew it was yours because you were like the only one who had it. Yeah, totally. That was the, uh, the New Balance shoe mixed with the Louis Vuitton bottoms. Yeah, yeah I remember those. I, I skated those around for a long time until so I literally couldn't anymore. They were white and they turned like, you know, dark gray because yeah. I just wore them every day. Love that. And then you went to Maine and you went to the New Balance school. Like, yeah, I did. To really get ingrained into sneaker design. And the response, you know, we saw this week Zendaya, the L cover shoot. Yeah. That shot. The yeah. Vision Racer is right there. What was that like to see a peer who was killing it? I mean, that was amazing. She, she's fantastic. The fact that, you know, she was wearing that shoe and that shoot, you know, it, it, it meant a lot to me. And it made the shoe just look amazing too, yeah. man. I was, I looked at that and I was like, man, I want this shoe yeah. so bad. And I was, I was already wearing it, but <laughs> I, I saw that and I was like, dude, this is so cool. But shout out to her, like she's awesome. Like she's the best. Absolutely. And then an OG sneakerhead. A lot of the young artists get credit, but this guy was really forward in the sneaker game, Wale Ward, a couple weeks ago. And like, real sneakerheads know huge he is the guy. Yeah, huge moment, huge moment. Wale wearing it, that was like, okay, not only am I taking this serious, but mm -hmm. people are starting to take me more seriously in this, and they are liking the products, and they're wearing the products out and about with their friends. My homie Justine Sky was even wearing the yellow mm -hmm. ones. Mm -hmm. Every time I see the homies just like, repping it, I just, um, it makes me feel so good. Shout out to Tierra Wack. Yeah. She's texting me right now, I'm gonna figure these shoes out for you. Okay. I'm sorry, I thought they already <laughs> got sent to you. Um, but yeah, so I, I love supporting my friends, and when they support me too, like it just, you know, it, it means the world to me. Jaden, I read a quote, you said, I wanna keep creating products that help people live. Mm -hmm. You have the water initiative, yeah. just water boxes. And I think we're on the sixth one and the one in LA is more recent. Mm -hmm. What's it like to kind of manifest changing the world through these products? Well, you know, we all have these platforms and we want to use these platforms to like make the world a better place and help mm -hmm. the person that's next to us. And, you know, I feel like we're so blessed in this life to be able to make shoes and to make clothes and music that I really want to do that to give back to the people that are less fortunate, the people that need help. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And the water box and everything we're doing with 501c3 is a huge way for the past two years that we've been trying to give back to the community. And the hoodie you're wearing? Yes. I heard there's even a charity aspect to, 100%, to that. 100%, yes. This hoodie is completely Completely all profits are going back to 501c3 to make sure that we can continue to give back to the community so that, you know, when people are buying the hoodie, they know that, oh snap, this money is going directly towards a cause instead mm -hmm. of just to a brand and it's to like a nonprofit that's really going to give back. And then when you're wearing the hoodie, you feel like you're representing yeah. that, the evolution of humanity to like help each other and to make the world a better place. You For know sure. What I mean? And to that point, no two pairs are the same. Yeah, How, yeah. Talk about that process. Like, you know, you, you went to Maine, you learn all these tools, mm -hmm. but to have a shoe that no two pairs are the same, how important was that to you? And, and describe that process. Well, it's important to me not for stylistic reasons, even though that, that is really important to be one of one. Mm -hmm. And that's something that's really a part of my brand and my fans is to be one of one. Yes. But the main thing is when I went there to build my first shoe 
and I was building in, I was cutting the, well, I was seeing how the lasers were cutting the different leather, leather for the different patterns of yeah. the shoe. Things are left over. There's mm -hmm. little scraps of leather that are left over on the floor and different um, scrap materials that are left on the floor. So that's why they all look different. And the reason we did that is for sustainable reasons. So it's like, yo, we're not actually using any new material for these shoes. Mm -hmm. We're using leftover material that would just turn to scraps to make these shoes. Love it's dope. that. The season 10 premiere of sneaker shopping, we had your dad and Martin Lawrence on. And mm -hmm. your dad, back in the day, was a disruptor with sneaker culture in a different way. Mm -hmm. He was taking the laces out of the Jordan 5s. You are taking it to the next level, though, with this cause and like really pushing boundaries, pushing the brands to give back to a cause. Have you guys talked about it at all? Yes, yes, we have talked about it because Omar Rambert, who works very closely with me on my music, he is like okay. my mentor for my music. He's been mentoring me through all of my musical albums. And um, he's been my dad's best friend from Philly for a long time. Wow. When my dad was on Fresh Prince, Omar was helping to dress my dad. So okay. Omar was the one who was giving my dad these Jordans. Omar was the one who was giving him these different clothes and these different things that were happening on Fresh Prince. Being like, yo, this is the wave. Like, let's take this back from Philly. I'm gonna go back to Philly. I'm gonna come back and then wow. I'm gonna dress you in this. As he was there with me in, in Boston and he, he was meeting some of the people who worked on like the 990 and stuff okay. and talking to them about that. So we do have, you know, family conversations about sneakers and yeah. things like that um, all the time. Like a full circle moment for the family. Totally. I want to bring in Evans Clark, the project manager of HHCLA's The Refresh Spot on Skid Row. I heard you're a big sneakerhead. 300 pairs, give or take? Close. Okay. No, no. More or less, though? A little less. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Maybe after today, but okay. <laughs> Thank you. So, yeah. The Refresh Spot, uh, again, we talked about with Jade in this whole episode how it's always for a cause. Give mm -hmm. us some background on The Refresh Spot and how this collaboration with you two came together. The Refresh Spot is a community-driven project mm -hmm. based out of Mayor Garcetti's office, mm -hmm. and we offer showers, we offer lawns, we have office bathroom. We offer a place where people can come and charge their phones 24 hours a day. There was a moment that I heard that you were like, we have all of these things that we're trying to provide for them, but footwear is something that they're missing as well. So imagine you coming out the shower and mm -hmm. you're feeling great, but you have dirty old shoes. Right. Imagine the feeling when people come out the shower and they feeling fresh, they're yeah. looking great and they put on a new pair of, sho of shoes. With those new pair of shoes, they might be able to go see their families, go look for a job, just yes. make them feel a lot better. You know, usually the show is very shoppable at the end. It is, it's called sneaker shopping, mm -hmm. but right. you guys have a little twist that we're gonna get to. What are we doing today? Today, I believe uh, we're getting some sneakers and we're taking them down through the refresh spot and hand them out to people that need this, the sneakers. But what we do, we just don't hand them out to people. Just, we wanna see if you need them, then we hand it to you and the rest we'll put up. And to someone really needs it, then we hand it to them. I want to thank also Jaden because I asked him for some shoes and I didn't think he was going to do this. So this is 100% yeah. more than what he's doing. I really want to thank him for it. No, I really want to thank you for what you're doing on Skid Row because, you know, we all, you know, we live here in LA and we go down to Skid Row and we see just what's going on there. Mm -hmm. And it just feels like, it feels like the world isn't paying attention to this one little mm -hmm. street, you know what I'm saying? And I just, to know that there are people there that are actually caring about the people who are there and giving them a place to shower, giving them a place to go to the bathroom, giving them a sense of community, giving them a place to charge their phones. This is so necessary in the community and the fact that somebody's doing it, they even will walk people back to that where they live if they need protection or if something's happening. So that's just so important and that's why I wanted to have you here today. And I Thank know you. that this is about, you know, buying sneakers and everything, mm -hmm. but we're gonna take 300 sneakers and we're gonna donate it down to Skid Row for everybody down there so that they can at least have that. That's the least that we can do. Thank, thank you. you, thank you so much. Thank Love you. Love it, great mm -hmm. initiative. And you know, let's uh, let's get these shoes to these people who yes. need them. Yes, yes. Here goes some of the shoes. We're getting everything ready and packed up for you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, I appreciate you guys for doing this interview so much. This is some of the shoes that we have going down to Skid Row, but we, like we said, there's going to be 300 pairs. We just, that's a lot of shoes to fit on the counter. Um, but thank you guys so much for this. I appreciate you all. And thank you so much for, welcome. for working thank with you. me and allowing us to, to donate to your amazing cause. Thank you. I really appreciate it. So thank you, bro. Appreciate I appreciate you. it. Thank you.
So, Evans came through, Jaden came through. Thanks so much for taking the time, guys. Thank really you. appreciate it, it was Thank awesome. Thank you. Thanks so much. Make sure everyone checks out the link in the description for all these charitable initiatives. Thanks again, guys. Thank you.